Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the 45-45-90 Special Right Triangle. So last time, we had a time video about the Pythagorean Theorem, and you can watch that video here in our description box, or you can see it here or here. So I hope before you dive into this topic, or before you study this topic, you need to watch first how does Pythagorean Theorem works. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now in this part of our video, I will show you paano ba ang derivation ng 45-45-90 special right triangle. So as you can see, I have here a square. So to derive that right triangle, so let me show you first then our right triangle. This is you. This is the appearance or the structure of your 45-45-90 special right triangle. This is your right angle, your 90 degree angle. And the two, the two acute angles here measures 45 degrees and the other is 45 degrees. So to derive that right triangle, we will be using a unit square, meaning the length of each side measures one unit. This is one unit, this is also one unit, and one unit. Now, to derive that, first step we need to do is to draw a diagonal, a single diagonal from this corner up to this corner. So we have a single diagonal. So first, ang gagawin natin, since we have the first diagonal, let us find first the length of that diagonal. So, sir, how can you find or how can you solve for the length of the diagonal? Remember that if this is a square, it has four equal sides and it has four right angles. Okay? So, imagine that this one is a right triangle. So, we can derive, or oh, this one alone, is a right triangle. So, we can solve for that side so it's for example we have this and we will try to find the hypotenuse which is this is one and this is one imagine that this hypotenuse is your diagonal so given the Pythagorean theorem you have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared substitute the value of your legs which is one square plus 1 squared is equal to c squared. And simplifying this, this will give you 1 plus 1 is equal to c squared. And this is 2 is equal to c squared. Therefore, the value of c is simply the square root of 2. The length of this diagonal is the square root of 2. And this one it should be square root of 2. Now, sir, how about the angles? Um, given this diagonal, we know that we have the property of a square that the diagonals bisect the opposite angles. So if this is 90, and this is 90, and this is 90, and then it, it is bisected by your diagonal, this angle measures 45 degrees. This one is also 45 degrees. These two angles are 45 degree angle and 45 degree angle. This is the derivation of your special right triangle 45 45 90 so let's have the measurements your diagonal is your hypotenuse here that is opposite to your right angle which is which measures square root of two while the other measures one and this is also equal to one so we can have the ratio to represent the measurement of these angles para makuha natin shortcut later so we can have the ratio of like this. We can have the ratio of the sides of a 45, 45, 90 as x, x, since they are equal. And then for the ratio to represent your the side, the side of your hypotenuse, you can represent it as x times the square root of 2. So we can have x is to x is to x square root of 2. And later on, 
this pattern or this sequence uh, will be used in our activity. Now let us try to answer some examples wherein we need to find the measurement of the missing side of a right triangle given a 45-45-90 special right triangle. So let us have a review about the composition or the structure of our special right triangle wherein, again, in this right triangle, since the angles are congruent, meaning the legs are also congruent, and this is your hypotenuse. So that's why we will be using this ratio, which is x is to x is to x squared out of 2. So this is the pattern natin on how to find the length of each side given these right triangles. So let's start with these examples. Find the missing side of each triangle. So in item number 1, as you can see, this one is an example of 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And this side with the measurement of 8 units, this one is uh, one of the legs of this right triangle. So given this pattern, to find the measurement of this side or the other leg, all we need to do is to copy the length of this side because the legs of a 45, 45, 90 are congruent. Okay? So next is to find your hypotenuse. So how can you solve for the hypotenuse? To solve for the hypotenuse, looking at this pattern, all we need to do is given your side or the leg, which is x, all you need to do is to multiply it by the square root of 2, and which it will give you x times the square root of 2. Here, in our example, uh, the measurement of the legs is 8 units. So to get the length of your hypotenuse, simply multiply it by the square root of 2, and that will give you 8 square root of 2. That is the length of that hypotenuse. And now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, don't be confused, but this one is still an example of 45, 45, 90. But this one is an inverted right triangle. This is 45, this is also 45. So this one is your leg, and this one is the other leg, wherein, again, this side is a leg, huh? because this one is opposite to your 45 degree angle. Therefore, if this is 14, if this side is 14, this side is also 14 units. And for your hypotenuse, simply multiply 14 by the square root of 2, and that will give you 14 times the square root of 2. Okay? So let's move on with item number 3. Item number 3 is quite different from the first two examples that we have earlier. Because we have here a special right triangle, 45, 45, 90, but the given length is your hypotenuse. So your hypotenuse here is simply... 18 square root of 2. We're in, sir, how can we solve for the legs of that right triangle? So basically, you need to reverse the process. Here, we multiplied the measurement of your legs by the square root of 2. In this account, or in this given example, we will simply divide the length of your hypotenuse by the square root of 2. It goes like this. So you have 18 square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2. Again, 18 square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2. You can cancel out this one. And as you can see, the remaining number is 18. That's why this leg measures 18 units. And also, if this one measures 18 units, therefore, this one is also 18 units. Right? Are you getting my point about this? Given the hypotenuse, if the given is hypotenuse, simply divide it by 2, by the square root of 2. And then there you have it, that is the length of your legs. Now for item number four. For item number four, uh, same scenario with item number three. The given measurement is your hypotenuse. So if you have seven as your hypotenuse, seven, okay, seven, simply divided by the square root of two. So what will happen? Okay, uh, let me repeat my solution. We have seven divided by the square root of two. So as you can see, we have the radical. So we need to rationalize this fraction by multiplying it by the square root of 2, by the square root of 2. And multiplying it, 7 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 4. Again, square root of 4. And what is the square root of 4? And that is 2. This is the length of the legs 
of this right triangle. This one is, sorry, this is 7 square root of 2 over 2. And the other is 7 square root of 2 over 2. So I hope you learned something from this video. First, on how to derive the 45, 45, 9, the special right triangle. Second, in finding the measurement of the missing side of these right triangles, given the ratio of x is to x is to x square root of 2 as the ratio for the length of 3, 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So in our next video, we will discuss the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And I hope you can watch that video for your reference in this, uh, in this um, right triangle series. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.